Hey friends, it's Julie and welcome to your total body workout. Today we are working everything. We're going to hit the total body and all we're going to need today is our weight and a bench. It's going to be basic exercises, no repeats. So once you finish an exercise, you're done with it and you're moving on. The way this will work is we will do two upper body exercises back to back and then two lower body exercises and we will alternate between the two. Then we will have a burnout at the end. Does it sound good? Okay, so have a variety of weights from your medium to light weights up to your heavy weights. Push yourself as hard as you can. For the time we work, I need you to go for it. I need the last few reps to be challenging. Now today what we're gonna do is we're gonna work for 40 seconds at a time. And we'll have longer rest periods before we go to the next exercise. So, a little bit different, so much fun. Let's burn out the whole body, shall we? Okay, let's get warm. Here we go, nice big shoulder rolls. Up and back, just nice circles here. Never skip the warm up. So important to get your body ready for the work so that you don't get injured. And roll it to the front. arm swings. All the way up, all the way back. I just want you working through the arms here. You want those joints to be warm and ready, especially if you're working out early in the morning. You really got to get the body ready. All right, open and close in front. I don't know about you, but I got a little soreness going on from earlier in the week. <laughs> so, I feel this stretching me here. All right, let's go into some trunk rotations. So just a little spinal twist. Awesome. We are going to hinge forward and lean back. So I just like to put my hands on my hips. Slight bend in the knees. All right, get the hamstrings here. Now come up and push those hips forward. I want to stretch in front of those hip flexors. Get the hamstrings here. Hold it for a second. Come back up. Push the hips forward. Now I want you to hold it this time when you go forward. So hold it here. Hold it here. Let those arms come down and reach towards the ground. I want you to think of pulling your tailbone up towards the ceiling and really elongating those hamstrings that stretch them out. Go ahead and roll it all the way to the top. Step back with one leg, push that heel down towards the floor and then just sort of lean forward until you get a stretch down the back of the calf. Switch. And come on up. Go ahead and stand with your feet about hip distance apart and then swivel to one side and sit back. And I just want you to get that stretch in the outside of the glutes here. Remember today, how hard you work is gonna depend on you. The weight you choose, how much effort you put into the movement, so I want you to give it your all. Let's switch. But I also want you to be safe, so always thinking of good form. So only push your point yourself to the point where you can still keep that good form, but you're challenging your muscles, right? Those last few reps should be hard. You should just be going for it, but you always want to be mindful of your form in every single exercise. And come on up. We're gonna do a few warm up squats. So feet hip distance apart, here we go. Just wanna warm up the body. Let's just do a few squats here. And hold it down here, hold it. Hands on the thighs, round the back up, and come all the way to the top. All right, are we ready to do this? Grab a sip of water. Let's hydrate before we start. I am gonna use my bench as a chair for the first exercise. This is optional. 
If you do not want to, you do not have to. So we are going to be doing a shoulder press. I like to be seated because it gives support to my upper back. So we're going to be here pressing overhead, okay? If you don't want to sit, you can have a split stance and doing it standing or you can have your feet about hip distance apart with a slight bend in your knees. But what I need to make sure is we don't do any shrugging, right? Don't lose your neck when you're pressing up. See like this? We don't want this. We want this elongated, okay? I want you to grab a weight that's going to challenge you. We're going to be here for 40 seconds, all right? 40 seconds. And then we'll take a 20 second-ish to 30 second break, and then we're gonna go into alternating front raises. So we gotta go a little heavier because heavier we're alternating. So, oh, these are not the same. You say one weight felt a lot heavier than the other. Let's get those matched, shall we? Okay, yeah, that feels heavier. So, for 40 seconds, I need you lifting good form. It's not about the quantity of the reps, it's the quality of movement. That's what I want you to focus on, quality of the movement, really working through those muscles, really taking your time to go through that rep and control it, okay? Take a deep breath. Now, if at any time you're like, oh man, I'm losing my form, then you drop down, get lighter weights, or take a quick break. Here we go. And rest. Woo! Okay. We've done a little break. We're gonna go into front raises. I'm gonna move my bench. I'm gonna grab my 12s. And we are gonna have an alternating front raise. So we will raise here, come back down. Raise here, come back down. Okay, ready? Here we go. Now I'm going across my body ever so slightly. Just a little bit. And just a shoulder height. Now after this, we're going to go into squat, basic squat. So we'll hit a few lower body. And rest. So grab a heavy, a fairly heavy weight. For squats, you can typically go heavier. I'm gonna go 25 pounds on each side. So 50 pounds in total. Regular squat, feet hip distance apart. Here we go. I like my weights on my shoulders, so you can hold them by your sides. Up. You can also just choose to hold one weight. And make sure you get that chest lifted. And we're not letting the knees roll in or out. We want them to go straight forward.
because that would be our first circuit done. Almost there. Rest. Ooh, okay. Take a quick rest, get a sip of water. So each circuit like that, four exercises. Two arm, two lower body. Catch your breath. If you want a jogging place, do it. Now, in this next round, we're gonna move into some biceps and continue on with lower body. I'm gonna use my bench again for the biceps because we're doing creature curls. You can also just use a chair, anything you want to. I prefer seated, but you could also do this kneeling if you want. Just keep moving, you got this little rest here. March in place, walk around your room, get a sip of water, stretch if you need to. So we're gonna go to a creature curl. We'll do one side and the other. Then we're gonna stand and go into hammer curls. Then we'll have a sumo squat and a deadlift. Those are our four exercises. Okay, let's get ready for this. Let me get my bench back out. So for biceps, with a preacher curl, which if you've worked out before you've done these, we want the triceps to be pressed into the inside of our thigh so we can isolate the biceps, okay? All right, let me move this a little bit. So I've been doing about 17 and a half pounds lately when I do a preacher curl. That's what I'm gonna stick with. I'm not quite ready for 20 pounds. I wouldn't be able to go for 40 seconds. I could get like a few reps, but not quite there. Still chasing that weight. Okay, are we ready to do this? 40 seconds on one side, and then we'll switch and we'll do the other side. We got this, we're very strong. We can do this. Here we go. So we want to control it up and on the way back down. And the more you can control it on the way back down, the quicker you're going to get those results. It's not going to be quick, but the quicker you'll get them. The more you control that motion as we lower it down, the better. The more we're going to work that arm. So eccentrically, when we lower, eccentrically when we lengthen the muscle, we want to really control it, control it, control it on the way down. And if you do not have weights that challenge you, and you just haven't gotten the next size up, really focus on slowing down the eccentric part. That will really help. Oh, and rest. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side. So when we slow any kind of rep down, even when we're coming up concentrically and we're kind of you know, shortening that muscle, when we slow it down and we have to really control it, we will really challenge the muscles more. So that's another way to kind of challenge yourself before you go up in weights. Okay, let's do it this side. It's also a way to strengthen your weaker side. So this is my stronger side, so I can do more reps on this side, but I will really slow down my weaker side to try to gain that strength a little quicker to get them more evenly matched. Just be hinging at the elbows. Here we go. Control on the way down.
Okay, we're gonna go into a sumo squat. I'm gonna use one weight for the sumo squat that I'll hold in the middle. I have been working at about 35 pounds. I'm gonna go to 40 for this one today. Whew. Yeah, that's heavy. Okay, so toes will be out. We want the knees to track over the toes. And we're going straight down and lifting up. One weight in the middle, two weights, whatever you want to do. Oh, it's going to be good. Okay, here we go. Squeeze when you come to the top. So the reason I love this squat is on the way up, you squeeze the inner thighs and squeeze the glutes together. So I like to imagine there is a gigantic beach ball between my legs and I'm going to squeeze it as hard as I can coming to the top. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Really squeeze those glutes together, really engage those inner thighs. Almost there. And rest. Okay, we're gonna go into a deadlift. So two weights. All right. So deadlift. Slight bend in the knees, flat back going down, okay? Chest open. Here we go. And lift, pull up with those hamstrings and the glutes when they come to the top. Circuit two done. Oh, get a sip of water. You will need your bench or the floor for this next round. But I will have my bench flat this time. Okay. So for this next round, we're going to be moving into back and then still legs. So for your back, let me back this up just a little bit. The first exercise is gonna be a back fly. So we'll fly, okay? Wanting to bring the shoulder blades together. And we wanna be careful that we're not lifting the whole body, okay? So we want the upper body to stay still with the core contracted or hinged at the hips. Then we're gonna go into a pullover. And this is where you use your bench, you'll lay down. I like one weight, you're gonna drop it behind your head and pull up. Some people like to have just their upper back on a bench and be kind of in a bridge. I prefer my whole body to be supported for a pullover so I can go a little heavier, but that's up to you. You can do this on the floor also. For legs, we've got calf raises. So calf raises, holding weights, and then just reverse lunges, holding weights. Yes? Okay, so let's push ourselves, shall we? I'm gonna get my, nope, my weights ready for a pullover. We're gonna go into this back fly. Now, I'm only gonna use eight pounds, which is lighter for me on a back fly, but we're going for a little bit longer, and I wanna control it with slow counts down. So, I go a little lighter when I'm doing that to challenge myself in a different way. Are we ready? Here we go. Okay, we're gonna go into that pullover. 
You can put two weights together if you want. I just prefer one. All right. Weight it above your head. And if you're on the floor, as soon as that weight gets close to the floor, then bring it back to the top. Here we go. You can also engage the core here. Give a little core action. sure during a calf raise that you don't roll your ankles in or out. So what I want you to do is when you go up, to focus that your weight is going up under the big toe and the toe next to it, not the pinkies. So we want to go straight in, not straight in, straight up. We don't want to let those ankles roll in or out. That's very dangerous. You can hurt yourself. And if you need to do this without weights, that's fine too. You know, sometimes we need to hold on to something for balance. If you need to do that, totally fine. Okay, we've got reverse lunges. I'm going to drop down just a tad. You can hold your weights by your side, you can hold your weights on your shoulders, but we are just doing basic reverse lunges. So you're going to step back, lower down. Here we go. Almost there. And rest. Okay, take a quick breather. Another circuit down. <laughs> we have one full circuit left to go. And now what we'll do is we'll have a short mini circuit with a burnout. Yes? Okay, take a breather, get a sip of water. Take a little rest. We're going to move into a little tricep work. I am going to use my bench again for skull crushers. So I'm also going to use it seated for the first exercise, but you can also use the floor. So while you rest, let me show you. First thing you do is an overhead Y raise. So we'll be here. We're going to extend it so that we make a Y. Come back in. Okay, we just want to be hinging at the elbows. Then we'll lay down, do the skull crusher. Then we have hip thrust. So I will be using my bench again. I'm going to put a weight on my hips. We'll do hip thrust and then we will do step ups. Okay. Are we ready to do this? Yeah, we are. Okay, you can be standing or you can be seated for the wire. It's totally up to you. Take a deep breath. Make sure you don't shrug your shoulders. Okay, keep those down for that Y raise. Are we ready? Here we go. Right back in front of you. Shoulders don't move. Just the elbows. 
and really extend this triceps there. Almost done. And rest. Okay, I'm gonna go heavier for the skull crusher. All right, lay on back. We have the weights right above our head. Just a hinge at the elbows. You're gonna lower those weights beside your head without hitting your head. And extend. Here we go. Five more seconds. Yes. Okay. Come on up. That was the most ungraceful way I could have gotten up. I mean, really. I mean, really. Okay, let's do some step ups. I'm going to hold two weights and we're just going to alternate, stepping up until our time is up. For 15, like why not? Okay, are you ready? Here we go. And I'm just gonna switch the lead leg each time. So this is a mini round where we don't have lower body attached to it at the end, but we have a burnout. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, chest press. Cool. Let's go for it. Here we go.
rest. Oh, thank goodness, because I was, I was at the max. Okay, let's drop down just a tad. We're gonna do some flies. So remember, you wanna kinda of be hugging that beach ball, squeezing through your armpits, really engaging the chest. Here we go. you can hold out to the side, okay, for 30 seconds, and then you're going to take that weight overhead for 30 seconds, so we have a minute, okay, a minute, I want to push for 8 pounds, I think it might be a big reach, but I'm going to do it, because I know if I have to swap out weight with Kirkwood, I'm going to fight for it. It might be a little ambitious. It might be ambitious, but you know what? That's what I'm here for. Okay, 30 seconds of each. We're not taking any rest. So the legs are going for 30 seconds or for a minute straight. The arms will switch halfway through. Get ready. Are you ready? Here we go. You gotta keep those arms out there. Now mine are just slightly angled forward. They're not like completely to the side. Elbows are a little rounded. It's at the top of a lateral raise, and you're just holding it. That's it, just hold it. Okay, you're getting close. Ready? Overhead. Just keep going, hold the arms. Don't move the arms. That's fine, but jump back in. We want to finish that minute. Then we'll go up to a straight arm plank and hold for another minute. Yes, this is crazy. Yes, I know, I know. Feel free to yell at me. Like, whatever you gotta do, okay? 
I can take it, I'm strong. You just, you just say what you gotta say. Okay, get it out. I'm here for you, use it as therapy, whatever you need to do. But we are burning out these abs. Okay, that's what we're doing. And actually our whole body is planks. It's everything, it's everything. Okay, you're welcome. I know that you were like, yes, Julie, yes, this is what I wanted. You're welcome, I heard you and I was like, yes, I'm giving it to you. Okay, are you ready to do this? Make sure that you really engage that core. Belly button up towards the spine. Engage the core, no dipping of the hips, no booties in the air. Okay, we need good form. If you only get to 20 seconds, but it's good form, great. Take a break and then try to jump back in and do more. Don't have the booty in the air and doing all these weird things that are not good form because that's not gonna work you, okay? All right, let me set my watch. Are we ready? And we're off. Okay, we're right here for a minute. Now, I like to push back my heel just a little bit. I'm pulling out my core. I like to squeeze my glutes. And then I just push away from the floor a little bit so I'm not sinking into my shoulders. This is sinking into my shoulders. Okay, push that up. And just hold. What should we talk about? Let's pass the time. How do you feel about today? What are you thinking about those no repeats? I kind of like the no repeats. It goes by a little bit faster. Um, but sometimes, you know, I like to have three sets of something and just really burn it out. But today I was really feeling the no repeat. Let's see, where are we at? Ooh, we're getting close. We have 15 seconds here and then we will go to straight arms. Hold in there, if you can hold in there, just keep going, hold in there. Five more seconds. Okay, all the way up, hold it here. Now make sure you're stacked, so I don't want you back here where you're back. I want those shoulders right over the wrist. And just hold. Now, if at any time you're getting too tired, I want you here, okay? Still engaging the core, but you can drop your knees. more seconds. Dig deep. Drop to the knees if you have to. Take a rest if you have to. But don't give up. Keep breathing. Keep fighting for it. You got 10 seconds. Okay, open and close those arms and take one cross. 
do the other round. Oh. Ooh. We did it today. We did the total body. We did. We did everything. I hope that you worked hard. I hope that you pushed with those weights. Maybe you slowed the movements down and really controlled them. Let's switch. Remember, every workout depends on you. How hard you work is totally up to you. So you've got to decide how much you're going for it, how much you're going to challenge yourself, how much you're going to fight for it. And there may be days when you show up and you're like, this is the best I can give, and that's totally fine. Still show up on those days where you don't have 100% energy, you're not feeling 100% motivated, but you got there. And whatever you can get out that day is something, and it's never wasted. In my opinion, it's never wasted. But then when you've got those days, you're like, I know I have the energy, I want you to fight for it. I want you to fight for working hard. Up the hands behind your back and open. I've definitely had days where I show up to a workout and I'm just not feeling it. Just my mood is not there, but I know my body is able. And if I get going into it and I really push, my mind will catch up and I feel 10 times better by the end. So sometimes you gotta remind yourself like, oh, you're gonna feel so great at the end, don't give up, you know that feeling when you finish. Sometimes we gotta talk ourselves into it but we always feel so good at the end. And even on the days where it's not your best workout and you feel like you didn't quite have your energy, whatever, just getting to the end and knowing you pushed through anyways, it's a good feeling, right? It's good. Oh, okay, friends. I'm so glad that you joined me for this total body workout. Um, I hope that you had fun. I wanted to mix it up a little bit, work for different time under tension, no repeats. The burnout literally came to me as I was laying in bed last night about to fall asleep and I hadn't fully planned out the workout. I was like, I just want to burn out. I was like, let's just hold our arms. Wait, let's have legs. Let's do that together. So thank you for humoring me and letting me do that workout with you. Um, I hope that you pushed hard. I hope that you feel great. Now I want you to go eat with intention. Remember, it's your choice what you put into your body. Be smart about your choices, right? It's your choice to show up and work out and go heavy and push for it. These are your choices. Let's do this together. Let's not make excuses. Let's find all the reasons why we want to age powerfully. Somebody said that to me and I went, yes, that's what we need to do. We are aging with power, which I think makes us graceful. So I will see you in the next workout. Bye.